Hi, Phil Benham here with Product Dino. In this video, I want to talk about how to set up a full-fledged sales funnel using Product Dino to host, deliver, and protect all of the products in your offer. For the sake of simplicity, let's talk about this whole concept using the example of a recent, very successful product launch. Our partner, Promote Labs, used Product Dino and an army of affiliates to launch PostGopher, a WordPress plugin that turns content into lead magnets to help you build your subscriber list. Since their product is a WordPress plugin, their developers were able to incorporate the Product Dino licensing API so that only customers could activate it. Because they had different versions of the same plugin, a few upsell products as a part of a complete sales funnel, they decided to launch and sell it using collections on Product Dino. So let's examine their workflow and break down each step so that you'll be able to learn how they pulled it off and use what you learned to build your own successful product launch funnel. In order to sell products in a sales funnel, you'll need to create them on Product Dino as products first. In this case, Promote Labs had three versions of the plugin to sell, a single site license, a multi-site license, and an unlimited site license. They only needed to build the plugin once though, because they used the Product Dino built-in licensing system to manage those. They also had a few upsell products to include in their sales funnel. And then they created three different products on Product Dino, giving users a way to download the plugin and generate licenses according to their purchase. The single site license product allowed one license per purchase. The multi-site license product allowed up to three licenses and the unlimited allowed unlimited licenses. That's easy to set up, so if you need help, be sure to watch the Product Dino licensing tutorial video. They also went on to create products for each of their upsell products. So that's step one. Create all the products that you want to include in your sales funnel inside of Product Dino by setting them up as products first. You don't need to worry about using a nice subdomain, custom domain, or even creating payment integrations for them yet. We'll do all that later at the collection level. Once all of their products were set up in Product Dino, Promote Labs created all the products again inside of JVZoo, their payment platform, so they could sell them. The only thing that they would skip when creating their products in JVZoo would be the sales page URLs and the IPN URLs, since we don't have a way of getting those yet. You'll see that they added those later. After creating their products in JVZoo, they created a sales funnel there as well. JVZoo and other payment platforms have tutorials on creating a funnel within their system, so be sure to get familiar with that process for the system that you're using. And that's step two. Create all the products and sales funnel functionality on your payment platform. Next, Promote Labs created all their sales pages. They needed sales pages for their front end product, PostGopher, and for each of their upsell products. Since the front end product was just one plugin, but they were selling three different licensing versions of it, they simply created one button on their sales page for folks to click to get started and that linked to a page letting folks choose which version of the plugin they wanted to buy. Each of the Buy Now buttons on that page, of course, linked to the corresponding checkout page on JVZoo. And the Upsell page would also link to their checkout pages on JVZoo. And they had the No Thank You link at the bottom of the Upsell page. So in case someone didn't want to buy the Upsell product, they would still stay in the funnel. The last page they would create would be a thank you page explaining that customers needed to check their email service for access credentials to their purchased products. So now they had all their sales page set up, Promote Labs went to edit their products inside of JVZoo and added all of the new sales page URLs and thank you page to them. Which wraps up step three, create the sales pages for all your products, a thank you page for the end of the funnel, and then update your payment platform with all the sales page URLs for each product. Now that all their products were created inside of Product Dino and on their payment platform, and all their sales pages and thank you pages were complete, they were ready to move on. This is when they moved into collections on Product Dino. They created a collection for the entire sales funnel, they set up the domain and access setting the way they wanted, 
Then they added all the products in their funnel to the collection. They also added paid products that were not in their sales funnel. Basically, what this is doing is allowing customers to sign in once and have access to everything they purchased while in the sales funnel, while also being able to access products for sale that they didn't purchase in the sales funnel or were not in the sales funnel originally. Using a collection eliminates having different logins for each product and the bonuses. It's important to note that when you add a product to a collection, you want to include a sales page URL for that product. This way, when a customer logs into your collection and they don't have access to a product, when they click on it, Product Dino will send them to the sales page so they can purchase it. You can also choose to show or hide a product in the collection dashboard. In the case of PostGopher, Promote Labs didn't want someone who purchased the unlimited version to see the two lower versions since that would do them no good. They already have the highest version. On the other hand, if someone purchased a single or multi-site license, they would still also be able to upgrade to the unlimited version and any upsells since they'd be visible to them in the collection dashboard. Also, if you want to add bonus products, be sure to mark them as bonuses and they'll be available for your customers to access for free, no matter which product they purchase to become a customer. And so that's step four, create a collection and add all the products in your sales funnel. The next thing Promote Labs wanted to do is set up Product Dino to communicate with JVZoo about sales, as well as chargebacks, refunds, and cancellations. The way this is done is via an IPN URL. It's the responsibility of the payment platform to send that information to Product Dino. But first, the system needs to create IPN URLs to receive that information. Anyway, what you need to know is that in order to sell anything in a Product Dino collection, that thing needs a payment gateway. This is also where Product Dino creates those IPN URLs. So Promote Labs went into payment gateways for their PostGover collection to get started with this step. You'll notice that they created a payment gateway for each product they were selling, whether it was in their sales funnel or not. And that each one now has an IPN URL that Product Dino created for it. When you add a payment gateway, you'll need some information from your payment platform. So for more information on what you'll need for each different platform, check out the how-to videos that explain each one in detail. In this particular case, Promote Labs had to go back into JVZoo and edit each of the products to include the new IPN URLs created for the payment gateways. This way, JVZoo now knows where to send the information Product Dino will need to create the customer as well as cancel the customer if there are any chargebacks, refunds, or cancellations. So step five is to create payment gateways for each product in your collection. With some payment platforms, you'll need to update your products there with the IPN URLs Product Dino creates for you. At this point, you're pretty much ready to go. The way it works is that you'll send traffic to your sales pages. When someone clicks on a button to buy, they'll see the checkout page and they'll make their purchase. Depending on the funnel you've set up with your payment platform, they'll view the next step in the funnel. Throughout the funnel, your payment platform will be recording their purchases until your customers see your thank you page. And behind the scenes, Product Dino will be receiving these buyers' information and will be creating accounts for them, as well as sending them welcome emails with their login credentials. The system will also be sending their email addresses to the email service integrations you've set up at the collection level and the product level. Your customers will check these welcome emails, click a link in them, and use their credentials to log into your collection. They'll have immediate access to those products they've purchased and any bonuses you've included, and they'll be able to buy the products that they haven't yet purchased. Now let's talk a little bit about emails for just a minute. If someone buys a standalone product sold at the product level, they'll get their welcome email from the product level. If they buy a product as part of a collection using the payment gateway at the collection level, they will get their welcome email from the collection level. They will not get emails from the product level and the collection level at the same time. Remember that you can edit the emails they get from Product Dino in the Customize Settings area for either the product or the collection. Now, contrary to the system emails Product Dino sends, 
the email service integrations that you set up, both at the product level and the collection level, will always trigger for products sold at the collection level. They will only trigger for products and not collections if the product sold at the product level. All right, that's it for this video. I hope it helps to build your full-fledged sales funnel using Product Dino to host, secure, and deliver your products. Thanks for watching. My name is Phil Benham, and I'll see you in our other tutorial videos.